and he bought a $9 million home because of it. You know what that sounds like? ROI. What I think is happening is this. What I think is happening is this. We are grossly misunderstanding what's actually happening. We see the culture shifts, because that's why you laugh and clap about you texting. But let's talk about television, right? A lot of you spent local ads. And listen, I have a lot of uh, ambition to speak more with the CEO of Remax and the co-founders. I mean, television, I have clients three years ago, since I've met you, many of you, I started a social media agency for Fortune 500 companies, right? And most of my clients are, you know, we're talking about GE, the NFL, the Oprah Winfrey Network, Kraft, and, and Pess, big, big clients. They're spending tens, hundreds of millions of dollars on television ads. But let me ask a question for this crowd. We're going to 
to make money on the arbitrage of your information. You're gonna have to adjust and start making money on the value you provide. And so the value that I think, you like that? Thanks. You agree, right?
which has more than two fish. <laughs> Word of mouth is now on steroids. We are now sharing things that we've never shared before. For example, and if I was a slides guy, or maybe a chalkboard guy, I'd draw this for you, but I can't. But if you email me, I'll get you the information. My friend took a whole picture of him walking into a home and saying, I just bought my new home. It's beautiful, amazing. It's one of those one percent jerk offs. But something interesting. <laughs> so he's standing there, big home in the background. Or just Facebook feed. I started reading the comments. The third comment down was, who did you use to buy that home? The sixth comment down there was him giving the name. The ninth comment down there was somebody he knew that was a real estate agent that said, I can also help you. The thirteenth comment in that thread was that person going with the person 